Hi! How's everybody doing? I almost called you <laughs> losers, <laughs> livers, and lovers. But hey, <laughs> I would be taken completely, completely wrong. Anyway, we are on day eight of our 67 day challenge. Oh my gracious, this is exciting stuff. So, I'm still on the same fiction book. I have been reading it though. I have been. I have been on screen watching some stuff with my kiddo. Um, big kiddo doesn't like my stuff on screen. Anyway, whatever. Um, I'm sure little kiddo will grow out of that as well. And then I'll never see either one of them. But I'm still on the same and I finished you are enough now that I had started before day one of this challenge but next on my list is a book by Andy Colbert Col Col Colbert <laughs> and it's called try softer it's at my office at the moment it's not here or else I'd show it to you but so that I have my new fiction or my old fiction and my new nonfiction. Also trying to experiment with a few new podcasts and then my new thing for last week was TikTok. We were having some fun there and actually I did see my 15 year old more than I've ever seen her for oh, a few mm, weeks <laughs> because she was helping me learn TikTok. Um, this week's new thing is the body project workout that my wonderful friend and inspiration Nelia um, does regularly and so I've never tried it and I thought I'll, I'll give it a go um, then I have also asked some friends to step up and give me some challenges for um, my next new thing uh, because a new recipe awesome I'm going to try a new recipe but that's not outside of my wheelhouse as they say um so there's also a workout called walk to abba that i want to try as a new thing and then um something way out of my wheelhouse is a friend challenged me to learn how to crochet a washcloth like a kitchen dishcloth and so i thought oh yeah okay, okay. All right, so I'm gonna get my supplies for my sister. I'm gonna look up YouTube and gonna give it a go. It might take me a couple of weeks, it might take the entire remaining eight weeks <laughs> to get one dishcloth done, or I could love it. And if I love it, then everybody's getting dishcloths for Christmas. <laughs> I'm so happy with myself. I just don't know which one it will be. I don't know, no idea. Uh, intermittent fasting went really really well um as far as weight goes i stayed the same this week which i wasn't super happy with um but my new things weren't a whole lot more activity yes the 20 minutes of activity a day was really really helpful just to say you know what you need to do this you need to get off of your couch and off of your office chair. You need to do this. So that was really, really helpful because I'm I'm one that spurts, right? Like I'll go for two hours, I'll be exhausted, then I won't do anything for the next three days, right? So that I'll, I'll spit or spurt and that's not super healthy. Not at all, but eating went well. Now what I was eating, that could probably change um a few snackies within the eating time not outside of that window but still um but still yeah it could be um it could be better brother 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 all right so i got got all of my five hours of exercise i'm just showing you my chart all filled in for the week i have a few more new things to try and i can take things like uh the new recipe or french manicure out um although i've never done a french manicure i like to play around with my nails but i've never done that so it is something new 
And I could do that along with something else, like a new recipe. I'm actually going to do a new recipe tonight, but it has nothing to do with this challenge. It has to do with uh, the fact that I have strawberries and rhubarb in my fridge, and I don't want them to go bad, so they're going to go into a pie this afternoon. Yes. So, yeah. Um, Try Softer is my new book. Uh, again, it's just about uh, mental health because that's where I'm going during this challenge is I'm going to be doing mental health book with each month that we're doing this and hopefully even on to that. We were talking at our losing loving, losing living loving uh, group yesterday about how um, this isn't about just nine weeks. This is about remembering your value, remembering how special you are and you're worth the effort all the time. And hopefully it will become something organic to me that I will just do. I may have to track it in order to keep to keep it working. But, you know, even the most wonderful gardeners, they have spreadsheets, right? Like it's, it's literally organic to them um, to, to have a garden and to design this beauty within creation to create with what the creator has, has given us. But... They still have spreadsheets as to where they go and where their seeds are from and did they work and did they not work and you know they they have feedback and so there's nothing wrong with needing to track and still having that an organic way of life in fact when you journal and when you write and when you produce a, a tracking mechanism if you will um it's very helpful and it it causes um you to realize the things you are doing well already and the things you need to shift and change right in order to take care of the body that you've been given because we need to be good gardeners with our garden yeah. okay so yeah that's me how are you doing i hope you're doing well please give some feedback go over to the facebook page on losing living loving and um feel free to join one of our meetings too eh um, we have a Wednesday night. It's a smaller meeting. So, and everything's super confidential, except when I tell you about Nelia and her, uh, her body project exercises, <laughs> but she posts that for the world. So, you know, um, but please come and visit us on a Wednesday, Wednesday evening. So those of you who are from afar and the, uh, Saturday morning at eight 30 doesn't work for you, then come and find the the triple l crowd um on wednesday evening they'd love to have you you're completely safe with us um again don't make it pressure don't make it one more thing my sister said something really great because i was asking her about the crocheting and and she's uh, i'll post you i'll share her podcast once it's released but she was a guest on a podcast about um quilting and about the the hobby and the creativity of making beautiful things with with material and needles right like she's the most amazing quilt artist you've ever seen like my sister is so gifted um in such so many different ways of quilting but one of the things she said was that um the things we take part in she was specifically talking about hobbies they need to bring us joy and peace and calm. They need to build into our life and take away some of the stressful things and help pro process the stress. And if you're not doing it for that purpose, and if it's causing more stress to build on you, um, then don't do it, right? Like maybe give yourself permission to take a break or give yourself permission to give it up altogether and put it aside altogether. And I think that was, um, it, it clicked in to my head that when we do challenges like this, um, that's exactly how some people feel. Oh my goodness, it's one more thing to record. It's one more thing to manage. It's one more thing to take off, like to have on my to-do list. So if that's what's happening, give yourself grace to, to, um, to put it aside for a bit and to come back to it later. If, if that's what you're supposed to do. But regardless of what you do, if you're in this 67 day challenge or even not in the challenge and you're just kind of hovering on the sidelines, listening to people, getting a little bit of inspiration as you go along, 
take care of you. You're worth it. All right. Your body was created for a purpose. Um, and your mind is needs to be in sync with that body and your soul and your spirit. Just you've been designed so beautifully. So take care of that. You only get one body. All right. So remember how beautiful it is. Remember how beautiful you as an individual are and how valuable you are. And we'll see you next week. Have a good one. And please fill us in on how you're doing. All right. Love to see you. Bye.